Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Gerber LMF2. And in this video, we're going to be talking about why you should never buy an LMF2. Okay, so there are quite a few existing videos on the Gerber LMF2 on the YouTubes as it stands. But today I wanted to talk about my opinion and my testing on this tool. Now, before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of that fun stuff. If you want to stay more in tune with the channel and see what I'm up to. Okay, so now let's talk about this LMF2. Now, I recently got this thing, honestly, not that long ago, and I've already kind of broken it in a way. And overall, I wanted to talk about why I really dislike the, the LMF2 as a whole. Now, unfortunately, this knife does have a lot of promise to it. So the fact that it sucks so badly is very unfortunate. But first off, I wanna really say, so to put it into perspective, within 10 minutes of use, this is all that happened to this knife. So first off and foremost, when I was batoning it, I did break the little plastic housing that this knife has. And I should note that with this knife, it's really weird. I, I don't necessarily think it's really a full tang knife because this pommel is not a part of the tang, but the tang of this blade is encased in a plastic housing that is encased in a rubber housing. And that's to add some like, electrical resistance to the knife so you can stab electrified things without getting shocked but that plastic housing is very weak and essentially that housing that encases the tang of the blade is very brittle and very easy to break also the rubber itself too is not particularly strong it's very uh, easy to wear down and kind of rub off so the rubber is not super great either but within 10 minutes i managed to break the plastic housing of the blade tang i also managed to uh, damage the edge which i was just batoning it through wood so so I'm not really sure how I damaged the edge, but I definitely put some nicks and dings in it. And that's likely due to the fact that this edge was not very well heat treated and is very soft. So damaged the edge, damaged the handle of the blade, and also this coating. It kind of looks like a parkerized coating is actually much weaker than I thought it was. And there are several areas that like I said, I batoned through probably about three pieces of wood and uh, it's already wearing off in like spots and high wear areas. So this uh, parkerized coating is not very durable at all. And like I said, that happened all within 10 minutes in about three pieces of wood being batoned. And uh, overall, it just really, really let me down. So what are other things that kind of strike me odd about the Gerber LMF2? Well, the first one is that it feels really unnecessarily heavy. Uh, this knife just, there's no real reason. It almost feels kind of fake in how heavy it is. And the handle itself is very hefty, but there's really no reason to. I mean, the blade thickness is not that great and the blade width or tang width is really not that great either. So it feels like the knife almost is artificially heavy. And part of that I'm sure is due to this steel pommel, which the steel pommel in and of itself kind of boggles my mind because this knife with its you know special plastic housing and rubber insulated grip is designed to protect you from stabbing or cutting through electrified sheet metal essentially. And so you have this very large piece of metal pommel right here and so essentially if you were to touch the blade or this very large pommel that is completely unnecessary you would get shocked because of course the tang does run through to touch the pommel and kind of secure the pommel to the knife so essentially if you touch this or this you're going to get shocked and potentially die hypothetically so it really makes no sense as to why they added such a large pommel to this and it's quite unnecessarily large i get that they made this so that you could like break glass and stuff Stuff. but uh, one I really don't think that that is quite sharp enough to really do an effective job on glass and two it is also unnecessarily large now those are some of the big things that I noted when using this blade and you know overall kind of my impressions of it uh, in the first in the first light use of this knife 
So overall, uh, that's kind of my impressions of it. Like I said, it's not full tang and it's not really a great survival knife. And the characteristics through a little bit of moderate use uh, that have been already, that have already shown themselves make me really doubt that this knife is seriously up to par, even with other Gerber products in their lineup. Now, a lot of people say, or, you know, tout this 420, but this is a really good example on this blade of why the 420 HC is not a super great steel if it is not heat treated very well it is extremely prone to rolling chipping and just overall losing its edge very very quickly like this one did in moderate use so overall the lmf2 definitely was a letdown and it kind of blows my mind that this is a serious or at least offered as a serious pilot survival knife because it is very very lacking in its ability to actually stand up to even like i said moderate use for uh, realistic functions now there are a few pros that i do have to this knife and i will say that ergonomics on this knife are actually pretty good you can really get over this thumb ramp pretty well and kind of you know put your finger or put your thumb on the back to help kind of do things like feather sticking so that's a pro like i said it is pretty comfy i do for the most part like the sheath though i will say this whole kind of sharpener here is totally a gimmick um, there's absolutely no reason i would ever use or recommend using this sharpener though i will say you would probably have to use it out in the field because this thing loses its edge so darn quickly but uh, it really is going to do more damage than good using it okay so in conclusion with the limited use and i'm going to continue to use the heck out of this blade but i doubt it's going to be any better because it's already falling apart but what i will say is i would not recommend buying an lmf2 at all you can still buy these things new for around 100 to 120 dollars and there are so much better options out there even if you're looking for rubberized or plastic handled knives things even like the gerber strong arm uh, but things like the mora garberg are much much better knives for the price this blade is really um, quite quite lacking even for its uh, price point and uh, overall, I really have been unimpressed with this blade. I was hoping that it would actually be better than the other reviews that I've watched or some of the other, you know, commentary that I've heard on this knife. But unfortunately, it is not. It is really as bad as people say it is. And it is not a quality survival tool, even though it is made in the U.S. And, you know, some people may argue with me, but uh, really, from what I found in my own use and ownership of the LMF2, it is really not to be trusted and it is just unfortunately a tool that lacks quality in many different ways that it shouldn't especially for its price point so if you see one new or old uh, for sale run away do not buy these blades they are not good if you must stick with the gerber lineup i would recommend maybe taking a look at the gerber prodigy because the prodigy is slightly smaller but it is definitely of better quality and uses a little bit more hard plastic around the rim. So if you do have an overstrike, you're not going to be breaking um, the hard plastic kind of liner, but the Prodigy is definitely a better tool, albeit slightly smaller than the LMF2. The Prodigy is definitely a more well put together tool but still not my favorite. I would definitely recommend something like a Garberg or if you're going into this, you know, kind of price range, something like an SC4 would be much, much better than the LMF2. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.